Hi everyone and welcome back to Pause for Self Care. We are already in March. Thankfully for that too because February was hmm, not such a fun month. I usually decide to do my memory videos. It was a new thing I wanted to start this year. But there's not a lot I really want to remember from February. So we will just let February go off into the past on its merry little way and we will march on. <laughs> I hope that you've watched my live because it will give you a good idea of what March's videos will be like. So if you haven't, please do head over there. I'll leave the link below. If you're new here, let me just give you a huge welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you watch one before when you're returning again, why not subscribe? I really love seeing my subscriber go up. Our um, mental health videos tend to be low on the YouTube algorithm. I know this because I have another channel and I've, it's growing phenomenally. On the 1st of February I had 100 subscribers and on the 28th of February I had 200 subscribers. So yeah, mental health channels tend to be slow so I would really really appreciate your support. And that's with all my videos. So please hit the like button, very important and share with your friends. You never know if what I tell you today could help somebody that you know. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. In all of us, in our hearts, there's love and light that we must realize. We need to feel, we need to use this warmth that could make bright our lives In all of us, in our hearts There's love and light that we must realize We need to feel Today I would like to speak to you about a grounding method Now when we have anxiety we can either go off into the irrational side or it can be something that is actually there and affecting us. Now, what we need to do to reduce our anxiety is to change our perspective from the side of our brain that says to us, you're in danger you need to act you need to fly you need to freeze this is how our brain works when something happens and yes i attended a workshop with the awesome sam cowan speaking about fight flight and freeze actually happening to us in load shedding so this is a time to practice these grounding techniques even just to help you bring you back to the present moment and activate activate sorry your parasympathetic system so you're not part of the brain that's saying there is a current fear you're moving to the side of the brain that is going to calm you down and that is bringing you into the present moment so, what do you want to do to start out this little exercise? Number one, become aware of what has triggered you. Sometimes with anxiety that can be really difficult because you, you really can't pinpoint what has caused that anxiety. 
also if you've suffered with a trauma it can be PTSD it can be other things that are just stepping in and causing you to think mm. fight flight freeze what am I gonna do so try to figure out what the cause of the trigger is notice your body's signs when triggers happen so because of anxiety sometimes being unpredictable you can notice certain things happening in your body for me i'll notice that i'm more wishy-washy on the day i can't focus and then i want to like just not do anything because my mind is all over the show almost adhd so i can relate to that with one thought here one thought there oh puppies I got that from my friend who struggles with ADHD. So notice the signs on your body. Notice which parts are tensing up maybe. Notice, you know, your feelings. Then notice that you are flooding. I love this term because when you are experiencing a moment that is causing this anxiety it feels like things are too much it literally floods you makes sense doesn't it so you look at your thoughts your sensations and you observe you observe them from a point of pausing take a step back look at it as a fly on the wall Maybe in your pause you want to just take a nice deep breath and refocus. Breath work is fantastic and I will be mentioning a few techniques during March, of course. Then try to calm down. How do we calm down? Once again, breath work is a nice one. Focusing on grounding techniques doing the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then, if you are around people, ask for a break. Just so you can really take a step back. You know, when you are feeling so triggered or so anxious, and you can't really listen to somebody because there's so much flooding you, so ask for a break, go to the bathroom, maybe do an affirmation. In February I did some awesome affirmations for self-love, but you could create your own affirmation just to help you through that very moment. Then the most important thing and possibly the most difficult thing is committing to come back to the issue once you've calmed down because if you can find out what the issue is you can try to conquer it having that information is so important and you know maybe you want to write a few things down in your journal and speak to your therapist about it once again take a lot of time to self food self soothe Use your grounding methods. Up your self-care. When you struggle, it's a sign that your body needs a break. And remember, self-care doesn't always just happen on a Sunday. Self-care happens every day. So take your 10-minute coffee break and just smell the aromas. Blank out everything else just for a few minutes and be there with yourself. Then later on, you can come back to your problem with a brighter and calmer perspective. So it's not feeling as daunting as when the problem first hit you. 
And I think this is really great advice. When problems first come to you, they really seem like a mountain. But once you've taken a step back and done a few things to put things in order, it doesn't look as big as it did when you were feeling so overwhelmed. Thank you so much for joining me for this video and I do hope you enjoyed it. I hope you took away a few little notes and you'll be trying it over the next few days. Until next time, remember to pause for self-care.